Hey guys, Sean here, Mahalo.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Fine Tune feature inside of Windows Live Photo Gallery. To use the Fine Tune panel, simply click on the Start menu, click on Windows Live Photo Gallery. Once you have Windows Live Photo Gallery open, simply double click on an image you'd like to fine tune. Let's say this image, for instance. Then just click on the Fine Tune panel. And the Fine Tune panel will show up here on the right. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, Control F, to open the Fine Tune panel. With the Fine Tune panel, you can adjust exposure, color, straighten a photo, and adjust detail. Now, for example, on this photo, I'd like to adjust the exposure because I'd like to get a little bit more brightness in here so I can see the people in the photo. Click on Exposure, lighten the shadows, and brightness. And there we go, we can now see the people in the picture. Now, let's say for color, you can adjust the temperature. Like for instance, if we didn't want to show such a red warm photo, you can just bring it to the left and it turns the photo into more of a blue hint. But we'll keep the warm sunset. Also, you can straighten a photo and just move the slider left or right to adjust the photo so it's straight. What this does is simply keeps the photo square as you rotate it left and right. You can also adjust the detail which is simply how sharp or blurry the image is. So let's say, for instance, we thought it was a little too blurry. You can move to the right to sharpen it, or left for it to be more blurry. And there you go. That's how you adjust the detail, straighten a photo, adjust the color, and adjust the exposure of a photo. And with all the changes you made, if you do not like the changes and would like to go back to the original, you can simply click on Revert to Original. Click Revert. And there you go, our photo's been returned to its original state. And that's how you use the Fine Tune panel inside of Windows Live Photo Gallery. It's a very simple and basic tool, but with it you can do quite a few things. Now if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below, and thanks for watching.